congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own, and you know what you know. And you are the guy who'll decide where you go. You know, this book makes me think of graduation. Graduation is coming up, and lots of BP grads are either going off to college or in the workforce. In this episode of What's Up BP, we will hear from former BP grads and see what they're doing now. Yes, these grads have gone on to some pretty great places. Let's head over to the baseball field and see who Mila heard from. Batter up. Leaving off our episode is Matt Gage. Matt Gage graduated from BP in 2011 and is now a professional baseball player. He is currently a pitcher with the Los Angeles Dodgers organization. If you are new to baseball, a pitcher is someone who throws the ball to the batter. He has to be really good so that, he, so that the batter misses the ball. Let's go to Sacramento, California to meet Matt Gage. Hey, how you doing? My name is Matt Gage. I graduated in 2011 from Rhode Island, Perth. I am currently a left-handed reliever for the Los Angeles Dodgers organization. I'm in AAA with the Oklahoma City Baseball Club. Uh, currently, we are in Sacramento, California with the Sacramento Kings Arena behind me, behind this window. So some of the activities that I did at Rhode Island uh, obviously included sports. I played baseball four years. I played basketball all four years. I played football my freshman year. Didn't play a fall sport my sophomore year. And we made the conscious decision to switch to soccer uh, junior and, for junior and senior year. Uh, that was more about uh, not taking as many hits on the football field. But I mean, it was a lot of fun playing soccer and it kind of set me up to in good shape to play baseball and basketball. Everything was about competing in high school, and it was a lot of fun. And, um, but like that's kind of the way my life revolved. It was, it was around sports and around competing, and I absolutely loved it. Some of the coaches and teachers that at Brown and Perth that really helped me um, were definitely Coach Henry and Coach Gifford. Really kind of hammered out what uh, the college scholarship for Siena would really look like. Um, when I got offered that, I went to them. Uh, Coach Henry. I really respected him a lot because he took the took the game of soccer and made you change your way of thinking about it. So I got his advice when I was approached with my college scholarship. Same thing with Tucker Gifford. I was talked to him a little bit about everything as well, going through my my entire career. Uh, I had Coach Simons for baseball, and he really kind of uh, set me up for success through um, through baseball through the school. Some teachers at, at Broad Island Perth that I really respected too was uh, Mr. Masili. Coach Bice uh, was my math teacher. There's always going to be people in life that uh, you can hold on to uh, that are going to be there for you, help you set yourself up for f the future. Mrs. Bowers and Mr. Barnhart behind me as well when I was there, and Mrs. Bowers was family. So um, kind of going through everything in school and making sure they helped me get be successful and make sure I was still had my head in the books even though. I wanted to just play sports. Uh, I, I made sure that I still had decent and good enough grades to you know, pursue what I had to because the grades are really what's gonna take you to the next step because, and honestly, it's one of the reasons why I'm able to continue to keep chasing my dream because just having that foundation from Brad Alban uh, is really kind of what set me up for everything and kind of getting me through all the hard times with this game and. Uh, knowing I have the people in my corner back home. So I really truly appreciate it and I'm gonna continue to chase my dreams and I hope you do too. Let's swing on over to Avery and let's see who she hears from. I'm Avery and I'm here in our school store trying to decide what to spend my money on. It would be nice if I had someone to advise me. Ever wonder how big businesses know where to spend their money? One of our BP grads is an investment banker who helps businesses decide what to spend their money on. Let's go to meet Sterling Audi. Hello, Broad Auburn, Perth. My name's Sterling Audi. I'm a 1988 graduate of Broad Auburn, Perth High School. That's actually the first graduating class of the combined Broad Auburn, Perth school district i'm very happy to be part of the where are they now video series i'm coming to you from sunny north carolina very happy that uh you guys are taking the opportunity to spend a couple of minutes with me talk about where how i got to where i am today 
um, and hopefully uh, share a little bit of advice of uh, what made me successful and hopefully it helps you in, in your life journey. Uh, so my job title is I am Vice Chairman of Software Investment Banking at Barclays, which is a UK-based bank, uh, 330 years old. And this is actually a newer position for me. I actually spent 25 years of my professional career as an equity research analyst at JP Morgan doing research on the software industry. So a lot of the tools that you're using in your everyday life, whether it's things from Adobe, uh, Adobe Acrobat, maybe Adobe Firefly and Creative Cloud for those that are doing a lot of graphic designs. I've had an opportunity to write research and advise and help a lot of these software companies in their, in their journeys. So after I graduated from Broad Album in Perth, I actually didn't know exactly what it is that I wanted to, to do. Uh, I was very good in math, so I was encouraged to pursue engineering. And I started my college experience at RPI in Troy, which is an absolutely fantastic school, um, but one that just really wasn't for, for uh, me. So uh, from RPI, I actually transferred in my second year of college, I went to FMCC, so just down, just down the road and graduated with an associates in business. And I went from FMCC to the University of Tampa in Tampa, Florida, where I had some wonderful professors and I studied finance. But I graduated from the University of Tampa and I had the opportunity to work for a regional financial firm called Raymond James Financial. This is a, a regional investment bank gave me a lot of experience and, and from there I realized this is my passion. I want to I want to work on Wall Street. So I actually went to SUNY Albany, University at Albany and completed my MBA. And from there that's when I went to Wall Street. It wasn't easy getting your first job coming from a state school at that time and it actually took me 219 resumes to get my first job on Wall Street. The reason why I mention that is I think it's very important to understand perseverance understand the need to just pound the pavement and get out there and network and meet people. And if you are consistent and diligent, positive attitude, you know, things are, things are going to work out for you. I would say there's a couple of things. One, I thoroughly enjoy getting the chance to use the skills that I think that I'm good at, which is the mathematical problem solving, but then also getting the chance to, to spend time with people, to be involved and help with technology companies that are shaping the, the world and making it more productive and safer and better. So it, it's been a fantastic career and I've been very fortunate to, uh, you know, to, to enjoy the journey uh, along the way. I would say first and foremost, actually having the chance to build teams, recruit, train, mentor people that have gone on to be incredibly successful in the Wall Street world in jobs similar to, to mine. So I take pride in helping people become the best that they can be as well. Uh, finishing number one in my career. So where I finished, I was the number one ranked software analyst on Wall Street. So that absolutely is a highlight. So being able to go out on top from a research perspective. Um, and third, helping companies come public and, and get the capital that they need to go on to do incredibly good things in, in the world. I'm excited about continuing to do what I'm doing today, but as I look further out, I'm actually gonna return to the education ranks. So when I'm done with Wall Street, my ambition is to go back and teach college at the end of my career, uh, to be able to, again, just pay it forward. First, I'm a big believer in following your passion, finding the thing that you're excited about, because if you're doing things that you love, you don't work a day in your life is the, the cliche, and I firmly believe it. Just get involved. Try lots of different things to figure out where your passion is. Good luck in your journey, and hopefully I'll see you out there in the professional streets. Thanks, Mr. Audi. Now let's head over to Bree to see who she heard from.
Hi, I'm Bri. I'm here in front of our American flag that represents our country. We have a former BP grad who is representing our country as a diplomat with the United States Embassy in China. A diplomat is someone who represents our government and tries to make relationships better with other countries. Now let's head to Beijing, China to meet Madison Wilcox. Hey, my name is Madison Wilcox. I graduated from Broad Alden Perth High School in the year 2012. And I'm calling you from Beijing, the capital of China, where I work as a United States diplomat. A diplomat is someone who works on behalf of their government and ultimately the president to improve relations with other countries around the world. I think it's the coolest job ever. I get to move to a new place every couple of years, learn their languages, and help make an impact on some of the biggest events in history. Already I speak Spanish, French, Italian, Portuguese, and of course Chinese. And depending on where I go next, I may get to learn a new language as well. So how did I get here? Well, starting at the beginning, I was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico, which is the territory of the US. But my family moved to Sao Paulo, Brazil when I was very young. Eventually, around second grade, I moved to the Bradalbin Perth School District, where Mrs. Stay was my first teacher at BP. After graduating from BP many years later, I went to college at Johns Hopkins University, where I studied international relations and international economics. I also would spend my summers in Malawi, which is a country in Southern Africa, where I helped kids improve their educational opportunities, learn English, and also learn how to play soccer, which is my favorite sport. After graduating college, I went on to do my master's degree also at Johns Hopkins University. I did the first year of that living in Bologna, Italy, which is really cool, and then the second year in Washington, DC. After graduating, I applied and managed to get a job at the United Nations in Geneva, Switzerland. The United Nations is the international organization where all of the countries of the world come together to help solve the world's problems. There, I worked as an economic development project manager, which meant I lived in Switzerland, in Europe, but I would often go to countries in Africa, and Asia, and South America to help the governments and the peoples in those countries figure out ways to help improve life and make the situation better for everybody. I did that for about six years, when eventually both my wife, who also worked with me at the UN, and I decided that we wanted to see if we could become US diplomats. It took two years of many rounds of rigorous tests, but eventually we were selected and last year we joined the State Department as US diplomats. My advice to kids who are interested in this kind of work are first, of course, to study really hard. I studied as hard as I could to get into college and get the job of my dreams. But I think secondly and more importantly is to get involved. When I was in middle and high school, I did as many activities as I possibly could. I was class president, captain of the soccer team, I played in band and jazz band, I did community service, and it doesn't have to be those particular activities. But whatever you find interesting, I encourage you to get involved, to give back to your community, and to ultimately become a more well-rounded person who's curious and good at solving problems and helping other people. I also benefited from some great teachers, coaches, and mentors. I would especially like to highlight Mr. Simons, who is my English teacher, JV soccer coach, and masterminds coach, as well as Mr. Henry, who was my biology teacher, and of course, the varsity soccer coach when we went to the final four when I was in 10th grade, and when we won BP's first state championship when I was a senior at BP. So that's all for me from China. Zai Jian, wo ju ni men hao yin. Wu go ni men you xiao me wan ji, ni ke yi wan wo. Goodbye. Uh, wishing you all the best of luck and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. 
CSU at Madison. Now let's head over to hear about our next weekly grad. Hi, I'm Evie, and I love being on stage. It's so much fun. Well, we have a BP grad who made his passion for drama into a real life job. Kyle Brown is an actor on Broadway. Broadway is a huge place where all of the big time actors go to perform in shows. Let's head back to New York City to meet professional Kyle Brown. Hi, my name is Kyle Brown. I'm class of 2003 and I'm coming to you from the Long Acre Theater in New York City where I'm currently starring in the Broadway musical Lampika. I went to high school for performing arts after BP uh, called Walnut Hill in Natick, Massachusetts. And then I went to Cincinnati Conservatory of Music for musical theater where uh, I was there for four years, got a BFA in musical theater. And then I went on to get my first gig in New York after that, luckily uh, in 2008, which was uh, the Broadway production of Legally Blonde, the musical. What do I love most about my career? I would say the, the people that I work with and the people that I get to meet. Um, working with artists is super collaborative and super fun, and that would be my highlight, is the people that I get to take with me. And some highlights from my career thus far would be, obviously, performing for thousands of people. I think some of the big things that I dreamt about doing that I got to do were like the Tony Awards, performing on the Music's Thanksgiving Day Parade, um, the Today Show, things like that have been really special to me. Anything on the horizon? Um, next up, I am doing a workshop, which is something that we do in the Broadway community to create new shows. You kind of go in a studio for three or four weeks and you <clears throat> develop new musicals before you bring them to eventually to Broadway. Uh, and I'm doing a workshop of the, they're making the movie of Black Swan into a musical. So I'm doing that. Uh, do I have any advice? My advice would be to be true to yourself and be kind and just go for it. You have to have a lot of drive and passion to do this for a living. And so if you have those things and you have the support system, you can do anything. Well, first of all, I got my start in theater at BP. When I was in third grade, I did George M. Cohen's 45 Minutes from Broadway, which none of you probably know. Um, and that was my first musical. And then the next year I got to star as Pinocchio in the musical Pinocchio at BP. And that was like what really made me want to do this for a living. And the person who introduced that to me, who I don't know if she's still there, I think she may have retired, is Catherine Quackenbush, Miss Quackenbush. Um, she was the head of the theater program then, and she's a big reason why I'm standing here today. Uh, so if you're watching this, Miss Quackenbush, I love you. So good luck to y'all. Nice to meet you. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Brown. We can't wait to see what your next production will be. Hopefully, I'll get the chance to see you on Broadway. Hi, please allow me to introduce our final BP grad who chose the United States Air Force for her career. Let's hear from Darcy Novak. Hi, I'm Darcy Novak, and I graduated in 1991. I joined the Air Force right out of high school. In 1991, I graduated, and I went into the communications career field. Um, after September 11th, 2001, I changed my career to security forces in the Air Force, which is basically a cop. And then in 2014, I got a full-time job out at Stratton Air National Guard Base in Scotia as a personnelist, which is basically Mrs. Buchanan for an air base. I just retired last September with 32 years in the military in the Air Force. Um, I am super proud to have served my country and protected our freedoms. Um, I've been all over the world and I'm so happy to be home and enjoy the Adirondacks. What activities did I do at BP that inspired me to pursue my career? I don't know that anything inspired me to, to join the military, but marching band definitely helped in basic training. 
and were there any teachers, advisors, or coaches that inspired and encouraged me? I had some pretty great teachers in school, um, and I'm sure you guys already know BP has the best teachers. My math teacher, Mrs. Ipe, and my history teacher, Mrs. Tripoto, both instilled discipline and hard work. If you want to get anything, you have to put in the work. Do I have any advice for BP students who might want to pursue my career path? I would say if you want to join the military, one, you're most likely going to deploy. If, if something happens, that is, that's always there. You, whatever career field you have, you're going to deploy if something happens in the world. There was a long time where there wasn't, but you know, Desert Storm, that all happened. Um, also speak to multiple people who've been in the military. Everybody has a different experience and a different story to tell. Anything on the horizon and future that I'm excited about, I really can't wait to start helping veterans. Today, I work for the Veterans and Community Housing Coalition. Basically what I do is we help house homeless veterans. Um, we get them back on their feet by providing them a place to live and uh, access to all the help that they could need. Think about like healthcare, insurance, food, legal help, anything that they need, um, we provide a path for them to get there. And probably not from my career, but I feel that no matter what I've accomplished, the best thing I've accomplished in my life was having and raising my daughter, Alana. Thank you for your service, Master Sergeant Novak. Let's fly on over to Nate and Amelia for a special segment. We've heard from several BP grads who've gone to many places and done some pretty cool things. What you may not know is that many of the people you see every day are also graduates of Robin Perth. These people have chosen to come back and serve their community by educating its children. Please enjoy this brief photo montage of BP alumni who work right here at BPES. Maybe one day you too may choose to be employed. out to be pretty successful it it's pretty neat to think about the people who have graduated from BP and seeing how they have excelled through life what do you want to be is it a doctor baseball player banker teacher all these professions come from hard work and effort in what you do we are fortunate to be students from the school district that'll help prepare us for that what, what places, places will, will you go, go?